Flight attendants at 30 airports, including O'Hare, were grounded today in solidarity over a new contract. They say their working conditions and pay need to improve. Charlie Bajahusky joins us now live with their demands. Charlie. Well, Marion, this is something that affects not only United Airlines here at O'Hare, but American Airlines, Air Wisconsin, Southwest. None of those airlines has a deal with their flight attendants. And right now, those flight attendants say it's about time they got a contract. Inside United's Terminal 1 at O'Hare, a crush of flyers works through crowded check-in stations to get to their flight. What do we want? When do we want it? Outside, United flight attendants like Maria Torre walk an informational picket line, protesting the fact that she and her colleagues haven't had a contract since 2021. It's busy. Uh, our airplanes are full. Passengers are demanding. Flight attendants, pilots, and other crew members are joining in these pickets here in Chicago and at 30 airports nationwide to let flyers know that despite record numbers of passengers, their contract negotiations appear to be stalled. During the pandemic, they were able to decrease staffing and obviously let people go. And now the staffing hasn't returned, even though the passenger loads have returned. The TSA is predicting this summer travel season will be the busiest ever, with more than 18 million passengers in the air over the Memorial Day holiday alone. The Flight Attendants Union says more than 80,000 members are currently without a contract. We're tired of waiting. We're tired of management constantly delaying the negotiation process, and it's high time for us to get a contract. A spokesperson for United says we have been meeting in regular negotiations with the Association of Flight Attendants and the federal mediator they requested, and more dates are scheduled throughout the summer and fall. We are eager to reach the industry leading agreement our flight attendants deserve. But if those talks don't prove productive, Union says you can expect to see more protests like this one. And while there is talk about strike authorization votes, the flight attendants operate under federal law, the National Railway Act, and that makes it very difficult to strike. They have to go through mediation first. And for example, the Southwest flight attendants, they rejected a contract offer, have to go back to mediation. There are no mediation uh, sessions available until January of next year. Reporting live at O'Hare Airport, Charlie Vorchanowski, NBC5 News. Charlie, thank you.